AIDS, everybody. Hope everybody's having a good time tonight, having a good Sunday, had a good weekend, etc., etc., etc. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I do always appreciate that. Just making sure I had that link right for our new sponsor, Indiana Knives. And I do, it is correct down there. Indiana Knives, if you click on the link down below or just go to their site and use the code Slicey Dicey at checkout, you get 10 bucks off. Awesome for them. They are, they've are they already been really cool. They've sent me a couple knives to review and I got another one on the way. So uh, very, very thankful for that, for them helping me out. I'm going to turn off this light and get rid of some of this glare here. It'll be less shadowy if I turn off the light behind me. There we are. I did get the carbon fiber bug out as well, Dave. That's the same one they're sending me. So, <clears throat> yeah, mine goes in the mail tomorrow. So, you'll be seeing that uh, at some point late this week, probably. So, it's not a knife I need to spend a lot of time with. I've had a lot of bug outs. I have a custom bug out, very, very similar to the carbon fiber one. So, uh, just that different backspacer and obviously different materials. So, uh, that'll probably be uh, hanging out with it for a day and do a review and get it up there for you guys to see, because I know you guys always like the bug out content, always does really well. I have another cool knife coming tomorrow. I'll talk about that in a, in a little bit. Hopefully tomorrow, we shall see. UPS, they say Tuesday, but it's already here in Rochester. So we'll see if they decide to deliver it tomorrow or not. You never know. But uh, sometimes they wait until the day just, just, to, just to be them. Sometimes they're nice and they just deliver it because it's here. So we will, we will find out. Uh, and, uh, looking forward to the Microtech. Not quite sure if you were. Bird's Eye Maple Spider Co. keeps haunting me. Yes, that is very, very pretty. I do like it. I'm going to be selling my other one because uh, I just like this one so much better. It's a little thicker, which I kind of wasn't expecting. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Let me get the beer out first. I got sitting here. I'm sitting here thirsty. I have a beer. I don't know. I might have made a mistake with this beer today, guys. I tried to do something a little, a little different, and um, I got this Millhouse Light Lager. I thought it was just gonna be light, like flavored, you know, because most most microbrew it isn't really actually light. It just usually means light flavor. But yeah, I did look. It is a hundred calories, and more disturbingly, it's only three and a half percent alcohol, which uh, I don't know about that. But uh, we'll try it. I like plain label beers are usually good. It is from Poughkeepsie, New York. New York beers are usually pretty good. We'll see. I hope it's not like Bud Light. Hey, MC, how's it going? I just made a Bud Light reference. Didn't even notice you were in here. That's his beer of choice. Actually, it's really, really tasty. I do have to say, actually, that's... Uh, that's pretty tasty. I don't hate that. It does taste a little light, tastes a little a little thin, a little thin on the finish, but uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I don't know if I'd ever pay uh, 10 bucks for a six pack again, but. Mm. What's the thin knife? This is the very appropriately named Real Steel Real Slim. Uh, I already reviewed this. If you go back and look, I reviewed a silver one. And in the review, I mentioned that I kind of wished I'd gotten the gold one, and uh, they sent me a gold one. So that's very nice. Thank you very much, Real Steel. Appreciate that. Um, already done a review on it, so I'm not going to do anything with it. And I've already sold the the thin one or the silver one, but I'm going to keep this one. It is uh, not pretty. Looks like a platypus, uh, but uh, very slicey. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Finally able to drink beer again. Two down already. Congratulations, Metal Complex. Does did the disease allow it? I didn't get on your uh, live stream last time. Sorry, here, here. you said you had like almost a thousand people on it. So that's that's pretty awesome. Is it dicey though? Yes, it is slicey and dicey. And uh, I just really like the the real slim. Actually, Shabazz just did a review on it too. And he was kind of enamored with it as well. It's unique. It's weird. Uh, but I really like it. It's very appropriately named. It's just a, it's just a fun knife. It's VG10, but I don't even mind VG10 on a knife like this. So yeah, I really like it. Uh, everything's coming up light lager. It's actually, yeah, <laughs> very good. Oh, nice reference, Andrew and Arnold. I see what you did there. Very, very good. Anytime you get a Simpsons reference in this show, it's uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> Daddy Nick. Yeah, that's what, what, what we like to call him. Papa Nick, actually, I guess is more accurate what I usually call him. 
uh, real slim will make a good lunchbox knife for work. It would, absolutely. And one thing that um, uh, Nick pointed out in his review is it's so slim, it fits really well in like the little like pen pockets and stuff of a lot of your, you know, uh, briefcases, work, stuff like that. And it's nice just you have a little thin little knife in there. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I do I do like this one a lot. It's it's a very nice knife. Uh, so, how are you liking your secret protect? My secret protect is secretly awesome. I know that you have one as well, and we're both chonking at the bit to be able to talk about the secret protect. The secret protect is uh, very very cool. Like Burkhart, how are you liking the new fire tech? The new fire tech is outstanding. Which will bring me to what I have arriving hopefully tomorrow. Um, action is just getting better and better. This is the second one I had, so I, this one does not have as much mileage on. I had a stone wash opportunity to get a black wash popped up. I got the black or the sorry the battle black. I've never had a battle black anything, and thought it would look cool with this scale, and I was right. It does. It does have a battle bronze thumb disc on it, but uh, we cannot comment on the secret pro tech. So uh, you're not allowed to till not too long, a couple weeks, something like that. Um, but it's, I, I do like the fire tag very much. And I do have another hinder arriving tomorrow, but I did get rid of one. I'm still sticking to eight, but um, I have one coming to replace it. I do have the new Southern Edges exclusive uh, Eclipse Bowie. So I'm really excited about that because I had an Eclipse. I sold it because I just thought... They'd be coming out with a lot more eclipses much faster than they have, and then the Global Bastard hit, and they the eclipse got kind of pushed back, and now they're making more eclipses again. The Eclipse is an awesome EDC-sized uh, hinderer, and I'm probably going to do a little um, little comparison, not a battle to the death, but comparison between this, the Fire Attack, the XM18 Skinny, and the Eclipse as to which one is the best hinderer just to actually carry around and use all the time. The less bulky hinderers, I guess, it w is what it would be. And I don't know which one I will prefer. Because right now, honestly, between this and the uh, the skinny, I don't I don't know which one I like carrying around more. They're, they both carry really well. Uh, hey, Slicey, do you have the Sleash buoy around? Yeah, I do. And that leads into a good segue, Eric, for EDC, because we have over 100 people watching. So... What's everybody carrying? We wait for 100 people before we do pocket checks, and that's what was in my pocket today. Was the buoy. That's what I had in my pocket today. Thank you for posting the, the link, Keith. Actually, the hinderer, though, is a Southern Edges exclusive, not Southern Edge Knife Works, but... Uh, um, Dark Draco Recon 040. I have one of those coming. I, that's what where one of my hinders went. I traded it for a couple of OTFs. So um, a couple that I really wanted to get, and I know a guy who can get some stuff, and he would manage to get me one, and I, I, I just, he really wanted a hinder, and I don't carry it, so I popped on it. K390 Dragonfly, Evo Typhoon, Flex, Spectre, Flex. I'm going to start saying that out a lot now. Kaiser Tai Latvin, very nice knife. Bronze McKenna, very cool. 20 CV Smock, Flex, that's worthy of a Flex. Copper Ultra Tech Tanto, Flex, for sure. PM2 Tanto. Malibu and a Gin. Uh, to my Recon 40 and Purple XM18 that you're so jealous of. Yes, uh, not jealous of, you're just infringing on my gimmick. I have purple scales for my XM18, I just don't use them. I actually do have a purple scale for the XM18. Carbon fiber bug out and surge slip joint, Zach Stuff says. Of course, you already had the carbon fiber bug out. You probably had it for like a month. Now, mine will be here in a couple days, so I'm not too mad at you. But you have the hookup with the, the Benchmade people because you live your neighbors. And yes, the super chat is open if anyone kicks in a few shekels. I always do appreciate that. Dark side blades demon bite knife lost a bet. Wow, that must have been a really, really bad bet. Hogue Mini MK2. You know what? I got a bug. Everyday City Care has my Mini. I need to get that back. Uh, Jurassic. Nice. Uh, 
Yeah, the Jurassic's supposed to be more of those coming out as well. Hopefully soon. I really want another Jurassic. Uh, I got the Skaha 2 in the pocket. The 2 stands for the number of years on the wait list. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm waiting on my Concept Main Street full size. Cool. I like the little, the, the little bitty one. I never held the full size one. Cold Steel Large is Spada XL Time Ward Dark Timer of Grizzly. Sounds like you're hunting grizzlies with that thing. Uh, Sabibi Appalachian Drifter. Nice. Uh, forgot we were... I forgot who we have going live after... OCD for EDC goes on after me. Actually, they start like a little bit before we're done. They start after we go into silliness. Speaking of silliness, there's enough of you on here now. Some of y'all... Missed a secret giveaway. I'm going to start doing more secret giveaways that are not announced in the title, not announced in anything. I'm just going to say, spoiler, watch watch budget knife reviews all the way to the end. Because there will be times I'm just going to give the knife away at the end of it. This one was in my rapid fire reviews video. And I gave away one of the knives at the end, told you how to enter. Some people watched it, did the thing on the, the comments that I asked for. And I'm going to do the drawing tonight, and I'm going to do my best efforts to get a hold of the person. But, yeah, they won this Asher Knives flashback. Uh, what were these, like 40 bucks? Um, I posted down in the link. So what happened was Asher Knives named this, uh, and they said I inspired the name. And I could not remember whatsoever what I did to inspire the name of this. It completely escaped me. So I said in the bottom... Put Brian forgets things in the comments. Spell my name correctly, and I'm going to do a drawing, and somebody's going to win it. Uh, later on, the guy from Asher did get in touch with me. What happened was, he said, what should I name this knife? And I said, Hoobastank, which I say that all the time. If you ask me what to name anything, I'm going to say Hoobastank, whether it's a child, a pet, a car, a house, a country. I'm going to say Hoobastank. I don't even like Hoobastank. I cannot identify a Hoobastank song but I like the word, I think it's funny, and I make that stupid joke all the time. So I made the stupid Hoobastank joke, and he said, wow, that, that's a big flashback to me, and then that's why he named this a flashback. So, it's called a flashback because of me making a stupid Hoobastank joke. But anyway, somebody's going to win this. I've already put it in here on the, the spare phone, and the, the URL in there. I put, search for this specific text, Brian spelled correctly. Got 126 comments on it. And now you can click start. And MJC777, don't know if you're on here tonight, probably not. But I will go reply to this comment and hopefully you will see that. If not, I will do this drawing again probably next week when we do this. But in the future, watch, watch knife reviews till the end. Especially budget knife, budget knife reviews, because I may be giving them away. I may even give away some expensive ones just to throw a wrench in the works. But, uh, because it's just fun. And I like making people watch to the end and making people feel bad if they didn't. This beer is very gassy. Tastes good. Yeah. I will gladly drink that six-pack, but, um... I won't be buying any more of it. I feel too much like MC. Uh, any websites on that website, Jamie? No, and I haven't had a chance to even bother him this week. Nate, we've been really snowed in, and I've been dealing with that crap, so I haven't even had a chance to yell at anyone this week. Oh, I'll hail the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think that the watch time really matters a whole ton, but um, I just like to make people watch so they see more ads and I make more money. Which I am glad to see this month that the revenue is coming slowly getting back to somewhat close to normal because it was pretty poor in uh, January. I was not at all happy with my uh, revenue check. That's why you've seen me selling off some stuff. Uh, is Justin still doing lives after you? Yeah, OCD for DC is on after me, yep. Uh... But at least as far as I know, I, I think I got the note. As far as I know, he is. You have to check. Uh, 
who wants to buy me a new Warning Protect Malibu and they dropped this week? Uh, probably nothing, David, David Payne, unless one of your friends and or relatives is watching. Couldn't watch to the end. The power went out. They're shamelessly playing for the sympathy vote, David Garrett. Well, that David Garrett does sound like a person who lives in Texas. I will say. So it could be that your power went out. That's a very Texan name if you're not you're not from Texas. David Garrett. Hello, Mr. G in Vermont. Uh, yeah, I think he starts at 9 Eastern. They go by that weird central time. I don't even know what that is, but I, I, I guess it's middle country time. They go by that. So I think, yeah, I think it's 9 Eastern time. And then I usually go to like 9.15, 9.30. Yes, in Texas. Do you uh, did you ever get your power back? Water or anything? Are your pipes all exploded? Any bench made clips for sale? Uh, nope. They don't cost much just to call and get them. Don't be hating on the central. I'm just not, it's not, not hating on the central. I'm just saying I don't understand your time. I don't know why it's different. You're not that far away. If I if I ran this country, we would, we would get late, get rid of daylight savings time and have two time zones. Maybe three at the most. I think four is a bit excessive. Five if you count Alaska and Hawaii. Gate uh, of the frozen pipes have power. Insisted on it for this. Don't know what all that, what exactly that means. I'm not following you exactly. The wife finally convinced me to buy a snowblower. I have to admit to her that she had a, a good idea. I'm glad to hear that, Logan. Yeah, I don't have one because my house just doesn't, There's it would not do any good. The layout of my house, I have a very, very narrow driveway with the garage at the end of it. So in order to use said snowblower, I would have to get all the cars out of the driveway anyway. So what the hell is the point? And um, I have a neighbor who has a snowblower and he usually takes pity on me and blows out the end of the driveway. But this week I did have to shovel because my son was at his girlfriend's and it snowed and I had to shovel and I did wrench my back. That's the only thing that hurts my back is is shoveling snow. And it's guaranteed every single time. I broke my back twice as a teenager, so I, I got very lucky. But shoveling snow, man, always messes it up. And it sure enough, it did. Burn out in the truck, clear snow, profit. Oh, the truck did make some squealy noises getting out the first time I got out. The truck pretty much, though, just sits in the driveway when it's snowy because we have a Subaru. So I just take the, uh, I just take the, the Subi, drive my wife to work, and just use use her car. But I had to dig even to get the Subaru out, which is pretty rare. The Subaru would normally just bust through anything. Who breaks their back twice? Me, Bobby, likes the two same vertebrae. I didn't, I didn't like break, break it. I cracked them, I cracked two vertebrae two different times. First time I fell off a cliff, very short little cliff. It's like eight, nine feet. Not as impressive as it sounds, but I fell flat on my back into a dry creek bed. And then second time uh, was about two years later and I slipped and went down three stairs on my ass at school and uh, re-cracked it. Sorry, YouTube, on my bottom. Amazed you're still walking. Okay, two is brutal. Well, what was fortunate is they were right, very, very, very lower back, and they fused together on their own. So um, that, that's why it's fine. I, I just can't touch my toes or shovel snow. But anything else, it's fine. I did it before uh, before I raced mountain bikes. I raced mountain bikes, you know, professionally for a couple years after, well after that. It's just, uh, can't touch my toes and you know, things like that, but touching toes is overrated. I agree, Bobby Legs, except for it is annoying sometimes trying to tie shoes because I have to like bend stuff around and it's uh, it's really annoying. But other than that, it's mostly all right. You just don't have the range of motion that most people do. Never, I'm never going to be a yoga champion. I can tell you that. I just don't have the, the range of motion necessary. I can see my toes, yes. I, I have gained most of my pre-COVID weight back, though, which I was trying to gain it back, and now I'm a bit disturbed because I don't like where it came back. It was evenly distributed, and now it's like just in my midsection. So I got to do something with that. Aaron R., I will not go Velcro shoes. I already got freaking bifocals this week. I'm wearing bifocal, well, progressives, whatever. 
I had to go progressive lenses this time. Uh, I put it off for so long. I have progressive contacts in, and I have progressive glasses arriving this week. So, it's nice to know it, everybody. It's the beginning of the end. Beginning of the end for old O'Brien. Uh, suggestions for mirror polish blade, uh, blade thumb or flipper. Uh, I, des design atelier, I will say uh, I think mirror polish blades are highly overrated if you're really going to actually use it. Um, so, my mirror, you see, uh, progressive, so it begins. Welcome, yep, yep. Slicey seems like a Crocs and socks. I am not a Crocs and socks kind of guy, Nav Sergeant. I'm actually kind of a sneaker nerd. And uh, when I have to wear boots, I wear cane boots. I'm kind of a snob. I'll even show you what I'm wearing right now. I have a Nike Air Maxes right now. There's some special ones. I can't remember what ones they were, but I'm not a Crocs guy. And no, I don't normally wear meshy Air Maxes when it's cold outside, but I'm in the house, so... I do have crap feet, though, so I always wear shoes all the time because if I walk around um, barefoot in my house, my feet hurt. Socks and mandals. No, I do have Keen sandals I wear when it's really hot out, but not very often. What boot brand do you like? Keen's mostly is what I wear, but I'm, I'm kind of wanting some uh, Red Wings. I think I'm, I might finally invest in those. Shout out to the Air Maxes. I love them. The Air Maxes are great. And high ankle socks. Why is everybody giving me crap about the, my socks and my shoes? My sock and shoe game is pretty damn good, I do have to say. If that's one thing I'm fashionable about, it's that. And you guys are jumping on me about that. Keen are the cyclist choice for sure. Yeah, they Keen used to make bike shoes, and that's how I got into them. I used to get free Keens. I just had to ask nicely. And I, I racked up a ton of Keens, and they're all still really good shape. So I still wear them all the time. Women carry knives. How old are you, Slicey? I am I am two score and six years old. Well, soon to be six. I'm two score and five at the moment. I'll be two score and six at the end of uh, April. And, uh, check out Thursday Boots. Yeah, I'm thinking about the Red Wings because we actually have a Red Wings store. I know they're really good and we have a store here in Rochester, so I can go in and try them on because, again, my feet suck. So, uh, Came here for the knife content. Still not disappointed. <laughs> Sorry. What's one minute? What's going to happen in one minute? Uh, let's talk about some knives. What else did I want to bring out? There was some other stuff I had on deck. Oh, I got this other really cool real steel, which I have to look at the box momentarily. I always forget the name of this one. The How do I forget that name? I got the Stella, which is kind of like the G-slip. It's the same kind of slip jointy thing that they had with the G-slip, but it's a much swoopier kind of shape with the Poltergeist name on it, because it's the designer. I really like this. Very comfortable in the hand. I really do like it. Agreed, ATE. I'm all about a slicey shoe review. I, I have thrown shoes in the uh, morning pocket dumps, which I need to start doing again, but I've been so busy. Wintertime is like, wintertime getting up is a hassle. There's always something I got to do. I got to yell at somebody to shovel something, or I got to shovel something, or I have to go clean a car off for somebody or something, but I need to do. But I have put shoes in those before. Um, but I don't buy a lot of shoes. I just kind of, uh, I just have a few that I like enough to look cool on stage, and I stick with them. Break out the Yeezys. I don't. The coolest ones I have are a pair of uh, Jordan Retro ones that are all black monochrome. Those are pretty cool. I do have to admit, I like those. Can you close that again? Why? Does the blade offend you? Yeah. I want to see Slicey put on a pair of Crocs with a Dalica. What, use the Dalica like, like a, one of those heel things. That you get in hotels. I think the only that's the only place you can obtain those. I do believe those heel things. I I think you can only get them in hotels. I do have one of those heel things from the Waldorf Astoria that I stole. I think you're supposed to steal them. Somebody mentioned the Luna 
I have the fancy Luna. I love this thing. The Luna Boost. My wife wants a small button lock flipper. Any suggestions? Can you, well, there's that one that Swag's designed. Name escapes me. Somebody will put it on a shoehorn. There you go. There's the word I was looking for. Words. Um, and then there's also, uh, do they still make that, um, that Tangram one? The Tangram one was really nice, too. If they, you can still find one of those, the, I don't remember what they're even called. I didn't mean this be a very, such a real steel centered show, but I just got two of them and he just sent me these two. And then I just reviewed this one. Protec SBR, great small auto. That is awesome. If she can carry an auto, the SBR is superb. I actually have mine here because it's been in my pocket a lot lately. But yeah, if she can carry an auto. Mm. Sway back is the swags button lock. Yes, that one. Wait for the Elementum push button. That's not going to be small. That's going to be bigger than the regular Elementum, if I remember correctly. It's actually made a pretty good size little knife. But yeah, the uh, SBR is awesome. Vector, yeah. The Vector's not a flipper. Yeah, you're right. But that was the one I was thinking of. I knew it started with a V. Real Steel really is the most underrated company. They are. They make some really awesome stuff. I, I really like a lot of their stuff. And I, I didn't realize till just uh today i because i wasn't sure i was going to keep this one or not and i decided i probably will for a while i think and i went to go put it in my cases and i have like six real steels <laughs> i didn't realize i had that many of them um they just kind of accumulate over time uh three and a half inch blade in the elementum yeah he's asked for small it's still pretty small four inch blade on the push button elementum yeah i thought it was big i don't know still crkt titec 2 tanto is a button lock flipper yeah the little one um i i found the um uh the uh titec 2 to be horribly uncomfortable in my hand but i know i'm not in the my, majority on that i know a lot of people do like it but i found it to be that that freaking pocket clip with the screw sticking up was not comfortable The grand rail steel these needle bearings for your regularly as well as they i don't think they're using the needle bearings as much as they were but um i think it's still on a couple of models but they don't i have another real steel here too i just was i just was fiddling with it and it's an indiana knives exclusive where'd i put my my carta one i'm gonna keep talking and scanning around here and i will find it because i just had it there it is this, this was an Indiana Knives exclusive. I don't know if it's still available or not. Um, I kind of doubt it because they were pretty popular. This is the, the smaller Metamorph. So I have these four, and then I have a G-Slip. So, yeah, I've got five of them now. I'm going to put a hinderer away to put a real steel out. That doesn't happen here very often. Riffle looks awesome. Yes, it does. I have a couple more from them arriving from... Uh, was it from them? Yeah, I think I have two more coming... Uh, in the next few days. I don't know when. So, hi, will you review the Max Ace Goliath 2.0? Probably not, Rick Laura. I would not hold your breath on that one. Uh, is that the Chaparral? How's the wood handle feel? It's very, very nice. Oh, I said I would talk more about this, so I will. Um, it's it's very smooth. It's very well done. It's, you know, Tai Chung, Taiwan quality, and it is quite a bit thinner um, handle thickness-wise than the other one. Than the sta This is the standard carbon fiber version you can see i've already recorded the review of this so you will talk a lot more about it in the review but um it is much much thinner and it just makes it i just think it just makes it it's just really good can you spidey flick the chaparral yeah you can with a lot of practice and once they're broken in but not really um this is a bribe. Is this good enough for a secret pro tech reveal? Got to run those super chat is open. Pay the man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And no, it isn't because I have a really good relationship with pro tech and I love pro -Tex, and I would like to keep that relationship with them. So I'm being, being very good. Uh, Kershaw Thistle is a $20 proto button lock discontinued, but around Sue chicken. It's a, that's a very cool name. I, I don't know, it's just fun to say. Uh, I like the looks of the BT Fighter. 
Woman carrying knives. Got to go walk the pup. Take care of everyone. Have a good night. Say hello to the pup. Chaparral versus spy opera. Uh, I, I like the chaparral better. It's just a little slicier. And, and now I think with the wood, it looks just as classy. Tom, I will say nothing. I will say nothing. Uh, the Malibu being as popular as it is, I'd say they brought back the Cambria. Uh, it's not that. I'll tell you that. Uh, it's not that. But I do know they are doing more manuals. I don't I don't know what they are, but I know they're going to be doing more manuals this year, they said. So we will see. Maybe it will just be bringing updated Cambria back. Who knows? When do you think Speedy Elman about like about earlier or late 2020? I do not know that. Um, I, I I have been talking to them, and, and they... The U.S. guy wasn't even 100% sure. So I think first half of this year. If you could only keep one hinder, what would it be? Man, I don't even know, Trevor. It's, you have to. It, it depends on what day of the week you ask me. Uh, today? Um, well, my XM18 that's full tie because it has some emotional value. But taking that one out of the equation... Um, I mean, today it would be an XM24, but that's not going to be my usual my usual pick. It would probably be an XM18 skinny. You know, I don't really know. It's just really tough. Is the Protec made by Protec? Yes. Everything that says Protec on is made by Protec. What brand is the third from the left? One, two, three. That, that is a Real Steel Luna Boost. We have a lot of Real Steels out here. Anything in the middle here is Real Steel, so... Uh, what is the raffier noble material that they've been putting on the chaparrales? I don't know what exactly it's made out of, to be honest with you. I've always meant to get one, and I just never have. Uh, uh, trying to go back. Manual SBR. Be great. Oh, and manual SBR. I'll be all over that. Oh, my Lord. It's not that. That is not the secret one that MC and I have. Uh, Hanian Blector used a spider coat. Yes, he did. We ever messed with the spider coat sliver axe, wanted to add a couple of new spider coats collection. Logan, I did not do a review of it. One of my friends had one, and I wasn't that blown away by it. Not enough. That was back when I was still having to buy everything at 100% retail to review it. And I remember not being impressed with it enough to bother buying one. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't like something that I felt the need to rush out and buy. Uh, can you please fire that Guardian Tactical a few times? I can, and I'm getting an 040. I don't know when. It's, it's going to somebody and then coming to me, so I'm not really sure exactly when I'm going to get it. But mm. Exactly, Woman and Knife Review. I would classify these sliver axes. It's okay. It's fine. There's nothing glaringly wrong with it. Just didn't really pull my skirt up uh what is the most you ever bought a knife for what's the most expensive in a damas folder uh most expensive i the most expensive i have stock before i started modifying it is another otf it's the uh the microtech combat true on hellhound this was 680 something so um that's why i know we'll put this one away but this none of this fits on the screen, but I really do like the uh, that worn gray. Just oh, I still have the eighty twenty. I do. I do still have the eighty twenty. Shall I bring it out? He asks, knowing the answer. Why has he slipped into an accent all of a sudden? Gil Bradley two or Capara. Ooh, that's a tough one, Logan. They're both great. I have both. Wow, they're right within reach too, man. You guys are, uh, you guys are nail naming stuff within reach. This is my GB2. I put um, sharp dress knives scales on it. These are the burlap micarta ones, but uh, the GB2 is a great, just workhorse, awesome knife. M4 steel can't go wrong there. Hey, Big Red, what's up, man? I didn't see you sneak in there. Uh, just great, no nonsense workhorse. Awesome knife. Uh, whereas the Capara, still great, has a bit more fidget factor. 
works great for what it is. This thing cuts a lot of steaks <laughs> and a lot of meat and stuff because I, I take it to restaurants with me and things. But it's also just a really good EDC. It's super comfortable. It's prettier for sure. It's got you know, the only carbon and all that stuff. Uh, but not as good as steel. Yeah, it just depends on if, if you want something that's fun to fidget with, you just want something that's a good workhorse knife. That's a tough one. Just so I see if you reviewed any striders or med furs that keep catching my eye. Um, I did, I did review a couple Medfords. I'm not sure if the videos are still up. And then uh, I have not reviewed a Strider, and um, I will just say it has nothing to do with the knives. But um, yeah, you won't you won't see those here. Howdy from North Carolina. How you doing, Steve? Where do you live in North Carolina? I'm from, or I'm not from. I lived in uh, Spring Lake, which is near Fayetteville. And then I just saw they found a body in. Sanford, which is right down the road where I used to live. I rode past a dead body on my bike one time uh, in North Carolina in that area, but uh, I didn't see it. But I'd ridden down the road, and it was all over the news. They found a dead body on this road at this time, and I had ridden my bike through there five minutes beforehand. So I rode through a dead body in a ditch and never saw it. It was really creepy. They also have a wood product that some retailers are putting under the Noble name. Oh, you're something about the Rough Here Noble thing. Uh, Brunswick County near Wilmington. Okay, so you were a little far away. Is the Secret Protect the Arc Form Slimfoot? No, because I, I probably would have called that an Arc Form because I'm just like that. But uh, no, it's not that. Uh, uh, a real keen eye on you. Oh, wait, worse than that, I drove by for one whole day everybody did that it wasn't just me there's these poor kids when i lived down in uh greenwood which is about an hour and a half from here these poor kids on prom night um driver was drunk they went off the road and they smashed their car underneath a bridge and there were three dead kids underneath this bridge for like a full day nobody saw it you couldn't see the car from the road they were looking forever and ever and ever and they finally found them i said wow that's a morbid thing to transition into but yeah i drove over that bridge twice never saw him nobody did but uh ugh, better subject what's the micarta knife <laughs> this is the indiana knives exclusive mini metamorph i'm not sure if they're still around if anybody wants to uh go take a gander on their site and see about that um uh yeah i'm not sure if they're still around or not but yeah they do have the mini metamorph out now though real steel does one that's not micarta this is micarta and m390 as well, so uh, pretty cool. Uh, everybody's sharing their dead body experiences now. That's my fault. I started it. I take full. I take full responsibility for that. Uh, Dora Metamorph. The action is just endlessly impressive, even on the budget variants. Yeah, th this one isn't needle bearings like you know the the big ones were, but um, it still is great. It's still just silly. You can open it million different ways. Hey, Scott. See you later, Mile Man or EDC. Good to have you. Good to have you. And the dogs are going nuts. Bumpus! I love yelling that at dogs. Indiana and I is out of those metamorphs at the moment. Cool. Well, I just wanted... Not cool, I guess, but I wasn't sure. I got this a while ago. I did a video on it, but... um. Yelling bumpus at dogs is always fun. It's the little things in life you have to get that bring you bring you joy. Dogs probably found another body. <laughs> That's great. Tri-State EDC. I'm, I'm guessing by that name you live in my neck of the woods or close to it. Slicey, can you explain how you refinished your Bowie scale? Oh, I uh, bought a... Um, tumbler from harbor freight and i bought some ceramic media they had there and then it came with like this uh like really granular stuff the ceramic media i bought was way too big it was like you know the size of like the end of my thumb so i smashed it all up with a hammer to make it smaller and then i threw the uh some of the really granular stuff in there as well and I only let it go for like a couple hours because I didn't do anything to protect any of the surfaces because I knew it was only been there for a few minutes. I honestly just wanted to remove the uh, snail trails that were all over it. 
and it worked great. But I, and I, I just put it in with water and a little bit of dish soap. That's what I read on the interwebs told me to do. And it did come out a little bit different than stock, but I really like it and I'm uh, quite happy with it. But if I was going to put it in for longer to really, really like remove the finish from something or really change it, I would do something to protect the, uh, you know, the um, washer surfaces and the lock surface and stuff like that. But um, I don't know what, I haven't researched it. I'm sure there's somewhere on the interwebs that will tell me how to do it. But uh, yeah, um, it came out really good though. I was quite happy with it. It's the first time I ever stone wash anything. So quite happy with it. And I've been trying to find other stuff to stone wash and I can't come up with anything. Uh, opinion on the factory bug out scales. About to get one delivered. Well, now, Global, Global Green, we can say which ones because they have a lot. Um, I think if you if you got the stock grivery runs, people talking about them being uh, flexy and never been an issue for me. Don't really mind it that much. Um, Justin Sells, can you explain how you redid the scale for your Bowie? I just did, I think. Uh... What do you carry more, the full track or the XM24? Uh, the 24 because it's it's replaceable. Um, the full track I still I still carry. The full track is the only like collectible hinderer I still have. I did sell my vintage. Um, I know I named it and everything, but I had a very good friend who's been very good to me, and he really wanted one. I sold it to him. So uh, that's the, the most, like, collectible one that I have, I guess. Um, except for maybe my No Choy XM18. So, but I do like carrying the uh, 24. And I like the blade on the 24. The blade on the 24 is a sheep's foot. The full track's a Spanto. This beer is really gassy. I'm sorry that I'm erping. Uh, I went out the poor man route with stone washing the same harbor freight media but put it in a giant bottle and shake it or throw it in a dryer with some towels mike lee that was my plan and then i had a 20 dollar off any item over 50 dollars coupon from harbor freight that's the only reason why i bought that um and that was my plan that day was just to do that uh but then i was talking to my buddy the night before mike and he said hey they're really cheap at harbor freight and i looked and i found a discount code so i went and got it so uh um, yes, the new sleesh is boo is is beautiful. Be 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 beautiful. I just made a word that doesn't work. Got the Harbor Freight medium and got small driveway rocks instead. Yeah, I was I have rocks out back I could have used, but I was there and they had the ceramic stuff, so I figured screw it, I'll just grab it. I oh, I still have it right here. It's it's huge though. You have to bust it up. And, and the, the Harbor Freight medium is meant for, uh, yeah, it's like chunks like this big. Um, it's meant for the vibrating ones. And the vibrating polishers are like really loud. So the one I got super quiet. Like I turned it on before my daughter woke up and she's like right down the hallway and it didn't, didn't wake her up or anything. Rare piece. I think you guys are, I think I'm in, interrupting someone else's conversation. I think Nathan's knives uses a drill to spin. Yeah, that's another way to do it. This doesn't spin very fast. Definitely takes it longer. But again, I was trying to be kind of gentle because I didn't protect anything. But nothing, nothing got damaged. Action on it's just as good as it was before I, I started it, so... Just received the Urban EDC F5.5 Carbon, which is really, really nice. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, just added a metamorph list of knives to get. I think just for a fun little knife to play with, these things are just awesome. And they're not bad. The basic like aluminum ones are, what, 60 bucks or something like that. This one in the M390 that my card I think was only 140, but um, you know they don't they don't make them anymore. But or currently I don't know if he's gonna get any back or not. I haven't asked Eric about it, but I hope so. I will say that my card on this really dries out fast though. Like I'm constantly like oiling it to make it look a little darker. It's dried out a bit again now. <clears throat> Sorry if you're showing up. What's hiding on the top of the screen? Um, it would probably be it was out here earlier. The real steel, real slim. Just, I've already reviewed this. I just They sent me a gold one because I whined in my review that I wished I'd have gotten the gold one, and they sent me a gold one. 
So, oh, I don't have any front flippers yet. So yeah, it fills the need. Yeah, the, it's, and it's just a, I like the mini ones. The mini ones are great because the full size ones are, I will say I've flicked these out around people who I didn't think would get wound up and they really did. <laughs> so, uh, cause they're really long and stabby. So I think these, uh, little ones are better. Do you know the tactile turn is starting tactile? I do. I have spoken to them and I asked if I could get one into review early and they said they don't really, it's a very acceptable answer. I was not upset. They just said, we don't want to do reviews at first because we kind of have a feeling that we're going to sell out really quickly. So we would rather the first run just goes out on our own hype and then second run, we'll send some out to people to review. So great. Yeah. Yeah, Tactile Turn, the pen company is making what looks to be an awesome looking knife. And I'm if I can swing the cash, I'm just going to have to buy one. How's the detent on uh, your Malibu one of his mushy? It's great. I, it's even better than my original one was. It's very, very good. Got the Micarta Bushido on the way this week. Is I, I my, my Shibuti, I have not had out in a while on here. I should probably sell the Shibuti because I just don't ever carry it, but it's so pretty. Every time I think about selling it, I look at it and I was like, no, must keep Shibuti. Must keep Shibuti. <laughs> How much? Join the Patreon. I am going to be putting some up on Patreon tomorrow. I got bills to pay. But I don't, I don't think this is going to be on it, but who knows? I get crazy sometimes. But uh, Thoughts on rotary watches? Interested in one, but don't... I, I've heard good things, but I don't really know much about them. We're not quite to watch time yet, but... Uh, oh, I left a really cool watch downstairs I'd have brought out during watch time. But I will say that uh, the, the Thursday night... Um, watch thing is coming back so i'm a patron you don't even know me i don't remember who's patrons and who isn't um i am going to be bringing back the thursday night's watch chats i have a sponsor for it so uh as soon as i get a uh as soon as i get the watch from them i'm going to start it but uh Uh, you can review ZT0990. I don't know, maybe. I'm not really excited about it. it, it if, if one crosses my path, I will, of course, but it's not one that I'm going to seek out. I might use one of my allowances somewhere or something to get one, but... If you want some inside track on how I get paid for some of these ad things, nobody ever gives me money. I just have an allowance with some places where I can order things. So that's how that works. Hey, is that a yellow real slew banana slice? No, it's it's very gold in person. There's gold anno. And maybe it's coming across a little yellow. Wish I had a knife allowance. Uh, will you do versus American Law Man and Native Five? Uh, did I I don't know that the American Law Man's kind of bigger than that. I don't really think they're that comparable, honestly. But um I don't need to add watches on top of knives. Well, you won't have to watch on Thursday nights then. It's, I'm just going to get it all in one spot and get the watch thing out of my system. And it'll be good for everybody. Uh, and, uh, favorite spider coat. I have a video coming up on that. Probably this week. So, uh, yeah, I did... That Cold Steel video you guys seem to like, I did the my top five favorite Cold Steels ranked. I'm going to do my top five favorite Spider Co's ranked. And then at some point I'll do my top five favorite Benchmades ranked. But I need to acquire a, another Benchmade first that I like that I don't have anymore that I want to get back before I do the video. Um, but yes, uh, I will be doing a video on that. It's really tough. I can't, I'm down, I, just, I limited myself to five and I'm at, I'm at seven right now and I can't get below that so I, i'll allow myself one honorable mention but i don't want to do two honorable mentions i want to do i want to keep it at five maybe one honorable mention 
I hope that your computer's just glitching, Justin Sells, because I fully explained that a few minutes ago the first time you asked, and this is the third time you asked. Uh, is the Sage on there? There will, There is going to definitely be a Sage variant on there. I will say that. Uh, any good $25 knives, no fixed blades, please? Yeah, there's lots out there. Uh, how can you not like watches? Watches and knives are like lamb and tuna fish. <laughs> I'm not sure what that what that means. I hate tuna fish. So I'm not quite sure. Have you tried the Alliance Design Slim Pickens? Um, I've not. No. Uh, some people suggest some good sub twenty five dollar watches. I'm just brain farting right now. I can't think of anything to. Yes, the Penguin's excellent at that price. Yes, I would say that. Green from Puerto Rico. Love the channel. And sorry for trying to do the accent. That was really, really uh, rude of me, Annabelle. But uh, <laughs> I apologize. As was well as I was just telling Tim, I was just talking about Tim. I haven't even a chance to bother anybody this week about it. So uh, I don't know. We've been, we got snowed in and it's been a, this week's been a pain in the ass. So I haven't got a chance to bother anybody about it. It's out of my hands, but uh, hopefully it'll be up soon. If not, it will be back in my hands again. I'll have to just figure something out. David Garrett wasn't rude, just bad. Sometimes that's rude. Uh, I do want to um, congratulate Keith on not only it being his birthday tomorrow, but that somebody just suggested a good knife for under $25, and he did not say the Delica. So happy birthday, and thank you for not trying to spread your Delica plague anywhere else upon the world. Ever done a set with Brian Post saying, no, I haven't. I haven't even met him. I would love to, though. He's a fantastic comedian. Uh, Keith, how old are you going to be? And you have to give it, as is tradition, on this channel as of today. You have to give it in score. You're not allowed to give it in those normal years. You have to give it in the old-timey period of measurement of score. So how many score in years are you going to be old? The irony is he's sending me one for it. Yeah, congr congratulations. I wonder if Delica's sales are slowly dropping as price increases. Oh, absolutely, for sure, Poncho. I, I think that I think a lot of uh, people in the know are um, going to uh, are starting to realize that it's not that it's just not worth it what it used to be. Some of the the sprint runs are for sure. Like the K three ninety one is is pretty good. Was that a sprint? I'm not sure, but anyway, some of the upgraded steel ones are pretty good. But the basic one, ah, it's seventy what seventy five bucks now it is for one of those things in that crap VG ten. I don't hate VG10, but I hate that VG10. How many years are in a score? Two score in ten years. So two and a half score. Wow, you're older than me. I didn't think you were. Congratulations for outliving me? I guess we don't know that yet. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Keith outlives me. Two score and 13. You are old, Keith. I always give my age or give my weight and stone and stuff to you. I love just being a prick sometimes. I can't figure out my uh, weight and stone off the top of my head. I know it's 14 pounds, so I'd be. I like 12 stone, something like that. 13 stone. That sounds heavy, though. I don't remember. I'd have to... Will my phone work right now? Hey, Siri. What do I... What is 195 pounds in stone? Okay. I found this on the web. What do I want is one... Here. Siri's going to tell us right now. Uh... 
I am, oh, that's right, thir 13 point, well, no, I wasn't right, I was low, 13.92 stone. So, uh, yeah, I like, I like, just, it's, it's fun to give weights and weights and measurements and old timey stuff, and it just really annoys people when they go, and how old are you? I am uh, two score and six years old. I weigh 13.9 stone. <laughs> Uh, you want to hear something funny? This is we're after hours here, right? I can I can do this. So this is a fun thing I did with Siri. If you guys all have iPhones here, here's a fun thing you can do. You can uh, you can just make your uh, your phone call you whatever you want. So, uh, hey Siri, what's my name? You're Brian, but since we're friends, I get to call you Sweet Tits. <laughs> Oh, that never gets old. And if you leave your phone unlocked around me, um, your phone is going to start calling you a vulgar name. That is what I do to my friends all the time. I, uh, like I have one of my buddies, uh, his phone called him Sugar Buns. And what's funny is you don't notice it for a really, really long time because it doesn't often use your name. Like Siri doesn't often use your name back to you. It'll start putting it in the subject line of emails and stuff, but like you don't notice it for a while. And I did it to him, and like three months later, I was at his house, and he's like, "Why is my phone calling me sugar buns?" He's a very British man, and I just burst out laughing. I was like, "Cause I told it to." It was funny. The funniest with that sweet tits thing, though, is I was uh, I was setting up uh, my daughter's phone, and for her, when she got a new iPhone, and we kept having to say, "Hey Siri." And my my phone kept my phone just popped on with my daughter sitting next to me and said, "What can I do for you, sweet tits?" <laughs> I thought I broke her. See you later, Z man. Have a good one. Yeah, don't leave your iPhone unlocked around me. I won't go through your contacts. I won't look at your internet history. But I'm gonna make Siri tell you something, call you something really, really stupid. It's fun. I've done it to both of my children. I've done it to several of my comedian friends. Because all you have to do is say, hey, Siri, call me whatever. And it does it. It doesn't do it to anybody else. So, like, what freaks people out is it'll do it on the um, your emails. And when you send an email, you really hope that, um, like, it, like my emails titles say two sweet tits on them sometimes and then you're thinking oh god it does it say that when i send emails out to people it doesn't uh nav sergeant coming to blade west hopefully yes i think so i have a friend to stay with and everything so as long as it is safe i will definitely be there our internet history is dlt knife center white mountain boring my, i think my internet history is mostly a U.S. Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, yeah, and those other ones. <laughs> yep, and watch places. Yeah, Joma Shop. Yeah, it's pretty boring. See, Google Assistant does a voice match, so it won't let others change your settings like that. See, Siri does a voice match, but I can usually fake it. I can usually get around it. Uh, when is Blade West? It's the first full weekend in October, I think. I think it's like October like 7th, 8th, and 9th or something like that. How do you customize what Siri calls you? Just say, hey, Siri, call me, whatever, and then it will confirm it. I'm 18 hands tall. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, Siri. How tall is 5 foot 11 in hands? 5 feet is 15 hands. I'm 15 hands, so you are really, really tall. Let's be honest here, gentlemen. It's all porn unless you're smart enough to segregate your filth into another browser entirely. It's like Internet Explorer. Yeah, but you can you don't need to anymore. They have the incognito windows on everything. I don't understand people who get caught with that kind of stuff. Use the incognito window. The government can still find it, but your spouse can't. How many furlongs is that? I don't think I'm much of a furlong. Hey Siri. How long is five foot eleven in furlongs? Five feet is zero point zero zero seven six furlongs. 
There we go. We're learning things tonight. <laughs> We've become an educational channel. Oh, this is some of the most fun I've ever had on my live stream. I do have to say. Fathoms, we can do that. Hey, Siri. How long is 5 foot 11 in fathoms? 5 feet is 0 0.83 fathoms. 0 0.83 fathoms. There we go. The incognito window just filters directly to the NSA. It probably does now, Sergeant. The, they can look at whatever I use the incognito for. It's fine. I'm not going to allow your post, Jordan, because I don't want to get in trouble even though I've already said stuff, but I had a friend, the thing that you just said to do about take a picture of your stuff, I had a friend who did that in um, uh, when I was in college all the time. If you left a camera around and you developed your film, this is how I'm an old-timey. Yeah, you would always wind up with a, an interesting picture. What the hell is a fathom? It's depth, like in the uh, ocean or a river or whatever. Keith, this show has become a train wreck. I disagree, sir. This show has become awesome. It has not become a train wreck. It has become fun. Who's with me? Everybody boo Keith for saying it's a train wreck. Boo Keith. Uh, leagues next? <laughs> I don't think it would be. Yeah, we can try leagues. Hey, Siri. How long is 5 foot 11 inches in leagues? 5 feet 11 inches is equivalent to about 3.74 times 10 to the negative 4 leagues. Holy crap, that was an answer. Look at that. That's... It's not many leagues, is what it's saying. Majin Buu! Slicey Dicey live stream. Come for the knives, stay for the intellectual discussion on systems of measurement. <laughs> Logan Sharp. Slicey might be a cult leader. You know, if I started a cult, it would be awesome. You wouldn't have to, like, go. You wouldn't have to, like, move or anything. You wouldn't have to, like, uh, kill yourself or anyone else. You wouldn't have to wear weird outfits. Just send me, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month, and whenever. Whenever Jesus comes in a spaceship or whatever, I'll give you a call. Super easy call. Super easy. Wow, so much hate for me because you, you said it went bad. The cult of Shibuti. <laughs> there you go. What what beer would you put the rat poison in? You wouldn't have to get That'd be the whole point. Thank you for joining, Eric W. And yes, if you want to see more of these, please click the join button and you can learn more about obscure forms of measurement. What's another uh, obscure weight measurement? We have the money I donated last year. Yeah, everybody who's already donating money gets credit. It's my birthday. I deserve respect. It's not your birthday, as you so rudely pointed out before this. It is not your birthday. It's not your birthday till tomorrow. Cubits are volume. It does. That's not weight, though. And bushels volume, too, isn't it? I don't know what I would measure in cubits. Cubits big. Uh, what did the Egyptians use? I'm not sure. I measure happiness in pizzas. That's a that's a good way to live your life, Richard. It won't be a long life, but <laughs> our leaders with its commands the booze, the ark. I know, but wasn't that wasn't that dimensions? I mean, wasn't that uh, in uh, volume, though? I don't think it was just in uh, length. And isn't it as, like highly disputed as to what how big a cubit actually is? Thank you very much, Swami. I very much appreciate that. Donating furlongs per fortnight. I actually did legit use the word fortnight to somebody the other day. Not the other day. I guess it was like a year ago. So another comedian said, are we back here again the same time next week? I said, no, we'll be back in a fortnight. And I've never got mocked so much in my entire life. When you say a fortnight to three comedians in their 20s, wow, I got mocked. Because they all call me old anyway. So it was uh, not good. Hey, Siri. How long is 5 foot 11 in cubits? 
5 feet 11 inches is equivalent to about 3.94 cubits. There you go. There you go. Wait and Firkins. Oh, there we go. Hey, Siri. How much is 195 pounds in Firkins? 195 pounds is equivalent to about 3.48 Firkins of butter. <laughs> That may be my favorite. That that's just a great word. I'm screenshotting this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but oh, that was good. Ferkins, how many light years tall is are you? I don't even want to make it calculate. That'll probably blow my phone up. <laughs> the Ferkins cubit is the measurement from the tip of your longest finger to the bottom of your elbow. Really. Did not know that. Firkins. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun. Somebody asked a watch question earlier, and we we're up past nine now. So even though we started shenanigans earlier, we can talk about watches or whatever. If anybody can think of another obscure measurement. I expect a nice to be waiting Firkins going forward. <laughs> I'm going to sneak that into one, one review. Frickin' sounds like a very British thing. Like, I'm going to find out what country or it originated from. Uh, a, <laughs> oh, this is this this has been fun. I get complaints. Oh, I get so many like not so many. I I often get complaints cuz I don't do things in grams or millimeters and um it uh it, wow if i started doing weights and firkins and stuff before i before i started doing things in millimeters and grams wow the the metric people will get so upset uh yes one minute knife review you did i i did the drawing for the secret giveaway but i did tell everybody they need to pay attention to those Hammer unit? I don't know what a hammer unit is. Hey Siri. What's five foot eleven in hammer units? Five feet eleven inches is equivalent to about ninety-four point seven hammer units. There we go. <laughs> we will do one giveaway every fortnight. Now that I've said it, I kinda have to. Uh, wait in Dutch casts. I don't think it's going to know that. We'll see. It does have all the world's knowledge at its fingertips. Hey, Siri. What is 195 pounds in Dutch casks? What would you like me to convert 195 It doesn't know that. It doesn't know that. Dutch casks. Hmm. Let's try that again. What would you like me to convert 195 pounds to? You are useless. Go home. That's not nice. <laughs> now I'm just berating Siri. Uh, see you later, Therapeutic Edge. Have a good time. I hope everybody's learned a lot tonight. Apparently, one ket is 100 cubits. I'm still stuck in the ancient Egyptian rabbit hole. <laughs> 112 pounds is a Dutch casket. Well, Siri did not know that. And my Siri, as you heard, is British, so he's your pants. So he, he should. He should know those things. Getting into watches has had helped me judge things in millimeters. Yeah, for watches, I have to do everything in millimeters. I am wearing tonight, by the way, Citizen Nighthawk. This is a lovely gift from one of you great viewers. Um, it's the PVD black one. Very busy dial, but I like it a lot. I was wearing a different watch today, uh, Seiko Samurai, but then... Somebody posted a nice picture of one of these on Instagram, and it made me go grab this and put it back on. How much is your Malibu weighing grains? I can just check that on my scale if I want to. Uh, that's a Merkin. See, Samens, you're close. Waiting for Siri to say, now leave before I taunt you a second time. You know, Siri used to be a lot more fun. It used to say, like, if you asked... Help me find a body. It would give you a list to um, uh, um, 
like foundries and lakes and parks and stuff. Yeah, one of my scales does, David. I have one that does grains. Do OTS have a place realistically, are they just cool stuff? Yeah, I mean, they do. And if you need something that's super easy to open and close, like one-handed, you know, completely one-handed, I think like just with one finger, I think they have a place for that. But yeah, it's definitely a lot of just because just they're cool. It's just because they're awesome. Yeah, this chat has gone insane, but I like it when... We, we stuck with knives for a good portion of it. We stuck with knives for a good solid 50 minutes before we started measuring and weighing things. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. Anybody watch the video Nick Shabazz posted today? I don't think I watched one today. I think the one I watched was yesterday. Uh, we paid our knife dues, yeah. I mean, this is a, a knife channel, but I like to have fun on the live shows. It's a good time. Does anyone know of any good, sleek, military-style daggers to fill the EDC commando-shaped hole in my heart? I don't, Michael. Hopefully somebody does. I'm not a big uh, fixed play guy. What's the difference between hard to sharpen and takes forever to sharpen? Well, when I say hard to sharpen, I mean like it's something that's like chippy or... It just, it doesn't take an edge well. Uh, takes forever to sharpen just means it still takes an edge well. It's not chippy. It just takes a really long time because it's a very hard steel. I hope that explains that, Austin. Um, if I found an OTF to be discreeter than a flipper in some uses. It is a really quiet one, but... I wish they made a Hinder Ontario Rat. You know what, honestly, I think the closest thing they make to that is the Fire Attack. It is kind of rat-like in some ways. I have a rat right here. Me, oh, I only have the little one. Oh, there's the big one. I knew it was in that drawer. In the size comparison drawer. Stay for the Siri tips. It's, the Fire Attack is kind of rat-like. I think, anyway, I actually thought about doing a cheap versus not so much. I don't do the death with these two. My OTFs are far too loud to fly on the radar. Yeah, mine are too. You see that CRKT? What's that new um, uh, new uh, manual OTF? That's kind of intriguing. I might try and get my hands on one of those. That looks kind of fun and interesting. Oh my god, it is. Yep, it's very rat-like rat-esque how do you guys feel about uh doing that that comparison doing a hinder doing a cheap versus not so much battle to the death with the uh fire attack and the rat model one um like a CRT ritual is that that manual otf thing Yeah, the battles to the death are not getting as many views as they used to. I think maybe it's just because I took too much time off from doing them. I think if I get back at them, they'll pick up again. Just wait till you get the 040. It'll be yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on that thing. I'm really excited about it. I I want to see if it can equal the combat true down in stupidity. Metamorph, woo! -hoo, just came in to say that. Yeah, I I love the metamorphs. I think I'm getting, I think in my next package from Real Steel, I think I'm getting one of the aluminum, aluminum uh, ones as well. It is a, just a crazy looking blade. Yeah, it's about the same size though, isn't it? Aren't they both this four inch blade, big stonkers? Uh... I've noticed my Benchmade's far outperforming anything else. Kind of bothers me. You know, yeah, Benchmade videos, kill it. I did that video while Trice to EDC. If you look, I did a video about your favorite reviews, and I just went through my stats of 2020. And, yeah, Benchmade was like double, double the view counts of anybody else. And, uh, yep, that's why I'm you know, always going to review the new Benchmades. I like their stuff anyway. I'm not just searching for clicks. I am, I am a Benchmade fan and not ashamed to admit it. Uh, but, um... Yeah, their their stuff just kills it. 
I don't know if Fire Chat doesn't have nearly enough screws. That's true, Andrew Arnold. These things are a pain in the butt. I actually have some aftermarket scales in white and jade uh, that was sent for me by, uh, um, yeah, EDC for Life, and I can dye them, and it's such a pain in the butt to take these back apart and put them back together. That David Garrett, to maintain my status in the cult to be able to claim bankruptcy when my electric and gas bills come. Yes, David. Hopefully that's... I hope that that's not going to come to fruition. I hope they're going to put the kibosh on that before you guys get screwed, because that is a load of crap. But, you know, if you get a really huge bill and you're worried about it, just go to Cancun. Um, I want to check out the new SOG OTF, supposedly no blade play. Look out, G&G Hawk. I think that uh, G&G Hawk is going to be looking out very closely at that. And I actually NAF Sergeant. I would be if I was them. It looks uh, familiar. It looks very familiar. I will just say that. I'm not going to get it because it's a double edge. So it's like double illegal up here. So um, I'm not going to go for it. But yeah. Um, I'm telling you for some reason your face reminds me of Ted Cruz. Like you and one other person have said that. And my wife said, I don't. So I'm going to go by that because I do not want to look like Ted Cruz. Still love the TRM Shadow. Yes, it's still great. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to carry it much just because I've had... Where are you? There it is. Just I've had so much stuff coming into review and I've been just enjoying a lot of my new review knives. So, but yeah, I still still like it a lot. It does look pretty close to the stitch and everything. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're a little boy. I keep thinking that you're a woman, but you're using your mom's count. I don't look like Ted Cruz. I'll take that to my grave. I don't look like Ted Cruz. They'll be saying that as I get dragged out of a Walmart or something. When I finally lose it. When it finally happens. Uh, I think it's just because I have a beard. And I don't have that big a beard anymore. Maybe when my beard was bigger, it covered so much of my face that we just had similar beards. You look like Magnum P.I. I do look like Magnum P.I. That is That I get that all the time. I do look like Tom Selleck. Not a good Tom Selleck, but I... My father looks so much like Tom Selleck that he actually uh, would get asked all the time in public if he was Tom Selleck. Happened a lot. And normally, he would say yes and have his picture taken with people. And it was hilarious because my dad was very funny. Back for more shrimp gaming. It's well, we stop measuring everything. So, uh, well, Walmart's probably the best place to lose it. Yeah, because I never go to Walmart. So, if I'm in a Walmart, I'm either hunting for cheap Casio watches, which they still haven't reduced the prices here on yet, um, or I'm lost. So, I hate Walmart. Uh, I'll take your word for that one, David. I have no idea who, who Stephen Pastis is. Could have made a couple bucks for autographs. I think he, he just liked the joy of knowing that some people had their pictures taken with what they thought was Tom Selleck. And then they show they show it to somebody and uh, <laughs> and they're like, that's not Tom Selleck. <laughs> Nobody realized my father was 5'10". And Tom Selleck's six foot four, six foot five. He's a huge man. I am practicing though. That's my retirement gig is when about the time Tom Selleck is too old to do those reverse mortgage commercials, I'll be right about the right age. So I think they could just slip me in and no one will know the difference because they're old people. They can't see very well. I'd like to talk to you about reverse mortgages. Nobody's trying to steal your house. It's just a loan. Same as any other loan. I know a thing or two. <laughs> See, I'm just practicing. I already know the script and everything. They can just slip me in there. All I got to do is just shave most of my beard off, leave the mustache. They'll never know. You can tell I have sling because... Do any, does anybody else here have sling, the, the uh, internet TV service? Because all they do is... Um, they play like the same 15 commercials all the time. And... Uh, so when there's a new commercial, you kind of get excited almost because it's just the same commercials. 
Could you show your pair of three if you have one? Yeah, I have a Maximet. It's the only one I still have at the moment. Here is the Maximete one. I will put, put the true down away because it takes up too much room anyway. Spider Coast Sage 1 versus Benchmade Bugout G10. Well, pretty much all the Bugout G10s are limited editions or the custom shop. So that's kind of a hard comparison to do. Um, because they're all either exclusives or, yeah, or custom shop. But I have the carbon fiber one coming, which actually price-wise, they're not too horribly far off. Key in, uh, any suggestions what for a pair of threes? I mean, I like the Maximet one the best. Um, I'm not a giant, huge fan of those, but um, uh, what's your opinion on Strider knives? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, they're not really my jam, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't review them. Oh, it's not if you want a pair of three or a bug out. I'm sorry, I missed that part, um, Keegan. Uh, I did a comparison between the two, between the pair of three and the bug out. Uh, the lightweight, um, yeah, the lightweight pair of three and the bug out. There's words. There you go. Uh, what's the heft of the chaparral? Would you like it in uh, Firkins? Or <laughs> would you like it in... Uh... In normal weight. I don't remember. It's like it's right around three ounces. Let me see. I have a scale here. I'm gonna bang knives together and make people cringe. Uh, let's get it in normal weights first. If you guys can even see that. 3.37 ounces. Hey Siri. What's 3.37 ounces in Firkins? 3.37 ounces is equivalent to about 0 0.003761 Firkins of butter. <laughs> it doesn't sound like he's saying Firkins. And why is it of butter? Is that a weight of measurement that's only in butter? <laughs> oh... And now I want to know how much, how much butter I put on my on my bagel and or like English muffin every morning. Hey Siri, what's one and a half pats of butter in Firkins? Okay, I found this on the web for what's one and a half pats of butter in Firkins. Yeah, it's gonna make me go to an article. Which weighs more, a Firkin of bricks or a Firkin of butter? <laughs> oh, that's fun. I'd like, thank you whoever it was who mentioned the Firkins. If you put the Bowie up against the Anthem, I can do that. And I'm going to wrap this up here pretty quickly. I've had too much fun tonight, guys. This was a blast. I, w I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed I enjoy silliness and stupidity. More than most things, pointless stupidity is... Pointless silliness. It wasn't stupid. It was educational. We all learned things that we never knew. Thanks for asking questions. No problem, Keegan. That's what we're here for. That's what these shows are ostensibly for until we go off on crazy rants about obscure old-timey weights and measurements. Ferkins and King Kilderkin are replacing all weight. No, I have claim on those tri-state. It happened on my channel. They're mine now. I am going to I am going to stick Firkins in the way of a video. I promise this week at some point I am going to uh, give the weight of a knife in Firkins. Uh, Trevor Ray, what's your preferred method of sharpening? Like Knapp Sergeant said earlier, I'm still on here. I'm really into this um, uh, work sharp precision adjust. I have not been using my um, uh, my Viper Sharp very much at all since I got that. I just really like it. Why a pair of threes so pop so popular? They carry bulky and wide. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Richard. I, I don't disagree with you on that. I think there are other three-inch knives that carry a lot better, but they are extremely popular. I just realized I've been listening for 20 minutes and haven't heard 17 plugs for Patreon. This is not on his channel. Nah, nah, it's fine. You can do that. No, and I should plug it more. I should plug it more. I should plug it more. So, yeah. Since I didn't plug it, kick in some money before I 
hang up. <laughs> Firkin is technically a measurement of volume generally used for butter. That's what I assumed, but I, it, my, my Siri thinks it's specifically only for butter. Thank you for the entertainment. Uh, Slicey, I hope you and your tribe have a fantastic week. You too, John Evans. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, David Guerra, I sent you an article. Cool, I'll look at it. Grab the work sharp, and I effing love it. Yeah, that thing is great. I think for 50 bucks, man, it's it's revolutionary. I, I'm going to go as far to say that. Thank you very much, Keegan. I appreciate that. So we're coming up on 9.30. I'm going to wrap this up. And yeah, EDC, OCD for EDC is still going on for sure. If you want to pop over there and talk about knives and maybe obscure measurements, probably not. They used to be sillier than me, but I think we've surpassed the silliness. So, uh, um, But thank you guys very, very much. And we'll be back again next week and tomorrow. I'm either going to be doing an unboxing of a new hinderer or uh, a different review. I don't know if that hinderer is going to show up or not. So we shall see. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.